Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan season, uh, the final season, episode number four. Okay, uh, episode number three, that is the previous episode. Um, a few surprising things happens happened. Number one, uh, that was uh, Eren at the end. That was something really surprising. And I'm still not sure how he got there, but we'll probably get to know that eventually. And another surprising thing was the whole thing with Annie and her calling Kenny dad or father or something like that. Now, uh, like I thought about it later on and from the comments I also got is like, I think she was like, uh, I don't know, messing around. Like Kenny was also messing around and Annie was also messing around at that time. So it is not her father because obviously how the hell can kenny be annie's father like that doesn't even make any sense so i think that was something just like like kenny was like his usual self kind of like messing around with him, her so yeah uh, that's something completely like uh, like nothing that's just nothing like that's just them like messing around so <clears throat> yeah that is apparently not the case that is annie's father is not kenny <clears throat> As far as I understood. So yeah, the only surprising thing is Eren's like sudden appearance in the end. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, uh, so we cut off on that part. Now we'll probably continue from there. So let's see how he got over like like in Marley and how like what's what happened to his teammates. What's why is he here? So many questions. So yeah, guys, um, without further ado, let's get started with episode number four of Attack on Titan, the final season. <coughs> Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> okay, Falco looks happy. Was probably that pep talk from Aaron. <clears throat> oh, he named himself Kruger. Okay. <clears throat> His leg, what happened to it? All right, like a few questions, like how did he lose his leg? And isn't like uh, Titans, doesn't Titans regenerate? So what's with that missing, missing leg of Eren? Okay. I can't specifically remember, like I've seen Titans regenerate, but that was in the Titan form. But do they regenerate if like they lose their limbs in like when they're in their human forms for example if like Aaron was in a uh, human and at that time he got his hand or like leg cut off then will that regenerate just like it would have if he was in a titan form like that's one thing i cannot remember if they mentioned or if they showed previously so i cannot really uh like place that because if that is the case that like if you're in human in a human form and you're limbs get cut off and it does not regenerate then Aaron losing his leg is can be like uh, believed or can be like uh, understood but if that is not the case and it would regenerate nevertheless so why is is he losing a leg now okay we'll see probably <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh yeah, he regenerates. Yeah, in season two we saw. Uh, he didn't have any arm and it regenerated. Okay, all right, we already saw that. Okay. Diver family. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
all the soldiers kind of have this grim look in their face. Willy. Who who is screaming in the background? What the? Uh, what is happening? <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. What is it? Some kind of test you're giving him? Maybe it's you. Hellos. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> Oh. Enough to stop our self destructive march. Hmm. Yeah, he was like implying that. <laughs> On its own. Hopes of atonement. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, who? Oh, this is What was her name? I forgot. Pika, okay. All right. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> hmm, okay. So, any solution? <clears throat> and here we go again. <laughs> okay, calm down. People might hear you walls of years. Oh, 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 look at that. <laughs> Falco. <laughs> oh my god. Gabi will be pissed at this.
No, not <laughs> historic feet. Oh my god, where where is Gabby? Oh my god, here we go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's also another point. Okay, yeah, that's another way to think about this. Oh my god, here we go. And I doubt Gabi will understand because she is as dumb as Eren. And here it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gabi is Eren. Like, I made a mistake previously, like, saying that Falco is like Eren, but oh my god, no. That, that's not... is that Gabi? <laughs> Ninkum <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, the black cat as well. Oh lord. <clears throat> Hmm. <clears throat> the world will be on our side. Yeah. I doubt that's like how it's going to go. People won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah yeah i'm perfect i'm miss perfect <laughs> oh lord <laughs> hmm Large scale demolition. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, this guy looks pretty shaken up. These are some... Oh my god, Aaron is like giving 
Falco, like, like life lessons. <laughs> Is Aaron like using this to spy on them? Like, and okay, hmm. Okay, who is this guy? I mean, oh. Jaeger? Oh! But... Oh! Yeah... Are you... Yeah, I was thinking the animals must be doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heron was like. <laughs> oh, my God, who is this? I took my daughter out. Oh! Is this... Is this the grandfather? Yeah! So he regrets it. Okay, so that's why Mr. Yeager... Oh, this is a... This is a patient. Oh my god. That means this is Aaron's grandfather. No, great grandfather. Yeah, no, grandfather. Yeah. Waiters. Wow, what is this? <laughs> this is some super waiters. Wow. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this lady seems pretty nice then. Okay, this lady is pretty nice. Easterner from Easterner. Oh, is she? Oh. 
Okay. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> this guy. Oh my god, this is some next level roasting. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, like sarcasm doesn't um translate well Okay, let's hear it. Oh my god. So we have to wait. Okay. Oh, is that like, piercing the titan? Head? That hero or whatever his name was, I forgot the name. Oh. Oh, oh, this is a festival. <laughs> oh my god, they're all ready. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Reiner's paying for it all, <laughs> and he's also remembering the time. What is this girl is drunk of hot dogs? Hmm. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. N no shocking thing happened this episode. Like, <laughs> in almost each and every episode, we are getting something like. Like, weirdly shocking type of... Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, but one thing I was a bit, like, unexpected. That was, um, Eren's grandfather. Like, when he said Jaeger, I was thinking, like, Jaeger? Like, who is this? Like, we've never seen this guy before. Then when he, like, started saying that my son and my, like, daughter went out and after that, like, things got messed up. And he started like freaking out. Then I understood like that. Yeah, this is um, Grisha's father or like Eren's grandfather. <sighs> yeah, and that was like, a little bit surprising. Like I was not expecting like him freaking out like that suddenly. And turns out he is. Oh, something left. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> Aaron. Okay. Oh, is.
Oh, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see what's happening. Oh. Oh my god, I think something's going to happen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, that was um Next episode, I'm guessing we're going to get to know why is Aaron here? What is his like uh, objective and like everything uh, regarding him? Okay, um, so yeah, I was saying before, um, like his grandfather was kind of surprising, uh, like suddenly appearing this episode, and uh, yeah, and I'm not sure what Aaron is doing here, but. Uh, it seems as if he is like um, making Falco go and deliver some letters now I'm not sure uh, if this is something that he is doing like he's sending letters to his home like home country that is uh, Paradise and like doing some kind of like surveillance here and then like writing writing some letters some reports and like making Falco go and deliver them because obviously he himself won't be able to deliver them because I don't know some might someone might like recognize him as a paradise like citizen or something anything who knows or that might not be the case at all maybe it's something else differently because as I said before like attack on titan has this thing of like simple things might uh, like turn out to be pretty big deal later on like now that I'm seeing this episode uh, for example I'm even not even sure if like uh, five or ten episodes later maybe something will happen which will kind of make it feel as if like in this episode there were so many hints which now that i'm like looking at for the first time probably i'm unable to understand but after 10 episodes it will seem as if ah this happened in that episode so this was some important thing and like stuff will, like this will have that's the reason why like for example uh, attack on titan uh, when seeing for the first time season one uh, we saw a lot of things a lot of things happened but after like watching season 2 season 3 now if we like suddenly start like watching attack on titan from the first time again uh, not first time from the first season again we'll get to see a lot of things that we have never noticed uh, uh the first time we saw for example uh, the whole thing with annie when like annie uh like uh captured reiner like this and then like reiner slashed off his hand then Annie like st like uh, looked at his hand like this for quite a few time and then started walking again. The first time we saw, we barely like uh, success, pass sorry suspected anything. But after seeing the whole thing with Annie and what happened, then we can like find out little clues. Like uh, for example, Annie staring at her hand like this. That is like the main indication of her reading the message that was written on her hand, and then like going on her own way. And uh, Reiner also kind of signaling Annie and all of these things we like get now if we see it again. So the same thing will happen in this season as well I'm guessing because like uh, this is like more or like a new type of arc or a new type of uh, development where like we're seeing the story through these guys' like eyes and Eren is like a character in it. Like Eren is not the main character here like in this arc as far as I can see. Like he's the main character, but I'm saying like we are seeing the story from the perspective of someone else, not Aaron. Now, yeah, so maybe th there will be like a lot of hints hidden around, scattered around here and there in first se episode, second episode, third episode. And later on, as we like go on and on, in the end, we will probably all like realize that, yeah, this thing must be like was something which was pretty important, which we overlooked. And yeah, so, so who knows? Maybe the uh, like letters that he's sending, maybe that has some kind of importance later on. And uh, like anything can have uh, like importance later on. Who knows? This is Attack on Titan. Like <laughs> the amount of foreshadowing this show like puts out is extremely <laughs> like unbelievable. So yeah. Okay. Um. Now. This episode had a few uh, new developments that is uh, meeting Willy, this guy, uh, uh, the 
like i think the head of the tibers yeah tibers tibers uh, and he is apparently in control of this whole nation and he said something about like now nah, i'm not the like in control of the nation i'm just like behind the wheel and it appeared to be me this time and he was a little bit freaking out later on because of the like weight and everything and yeah and he like wanted to shake hands with uh, what was the like the commander's name i forgot theo or something like that i can't remember his name i should probably try to remember his name from f like future episodes because this guy seems pretty important like uh, at, at first i kind of like dismissed him as like those kind of guys like uh who we see for a few episodes then we'll probably forget but i think this guy is pretty important uh this commander guy because we're seeing him for the past couple of episodes and i'm sure we got to see him in the next few episodes uh, next episodes as well so yeah and uh another thing we got to know is like uh we saw, like we knew this from uh, like uh what was that uh the hammer titan was out like one of those people like who were sitting inside and <clears throat> yeah and uh what else and we saw um falco and Aaron talking uh they become quite good friends and uh, falco is i don't know motivated after he, uh, yeah, like we're talking with Aaron, and he uh, seems like uh, i don't know determined enough to like uh to compete against um gabi and he is his like uh, is showing the results are showing he won uh against gabi for the first time i'm guessing in a race and i'm guessing this is because of aaron's i don't know pep talk motivation little bit of and he feels uh, like motivated that's it and uh we got to know about um falco's family that his family i think his uncle or something they said uh was one of the like eldian uh, reformists they're called reformists aren't they and they were like it, they were like banished in paradise banished to paradise island now because of that he and his family is under like strict scrutiny and like uh constant surveillance and uh pretty like looked down upon so obviously his his brother is like going to uh, inherit the beast titan and he obviously because of that they become honorary marlins or <laughs> whatever <laughs> and now their family is okay it's fine for them and another thing i really did not um think about was that when gabi was saying that uh, you you're from your family you already have a person that is um uh, who has a beast and so you're already already marlin so why are you also like trying to like get it now yeah like thinking about it uh the only thing that is like in their mind is them becoming marlins honorary marlins like they like uh f because that will help their family help themselves and people would probably stop looking at them like they are like dirt in the ground and because of that they have this kind of weird obsession of uh, becoming like uh, inheriting the titans and becoming this marlin and uh yeah and becoming like uh similar to the other people uh on the same standing so i really did not think about it this before but like yeah like gabi if like gabi's i'm not sure what gabi's actual motivation is for like he seemed she seemed pretty uh, uh like i don't know uh looked up to reiner a lot like that's one reason for her trying to uh become like the inheritor of the uh, armor titan because of her like uh, uh respect for reiner and also i'm guessing uh she also wants her family to be um like to be honorary marlins and everything so that's also another reason so thinking about it like that uh like if falco gets the uh, armor titan this will like snatch away her I don't know like her opportunity to get into this like to get a uh like get her family a good standing in the society 
and I'm not sure how she will react to that but as uh, Falco said that becoming the Titan means a lot of responsibility a lot of prestige as well but still that comes with, uh, with a price that is you can like die anytime and not not die anytime like you will like you your uh, age is like sealed then that means you like die after 13 years nothing you can do so yeah like becoming a titan means your future is like set in stone it won't change so obviously he does not want that and yeah <clears throat> excuse me now the main question here is um, what is Eren's actual motive here now another thing we saw here is like when they were like having that party and the like bald guy was cracking <laughs> weird jokes which <laughs> which were like uh, <laughs> startled all of the people uh, the lady um who like covered for what was the name of that guy the glasses boy anyways when she covered for him uh what did she say what was she just a sec uh she, that woman i think she's an easterner from hisru now one thing um I cannot remember but I think like like was um, oh no that is something completely different uh, I'm sorry about that I am thinking of something completely different like uh, I was thinking like uh, um, Mikasa's family uh, that, uh, like they said something about her being uh, from one of the uh, I don't know like they, they I, it's really groggy my memory is really groggy this like it, it seemed as if like she was like one of them uh, one of the minorities who were like uh, they were like trying to get them as a slave or something like that and like uh, like trying to like sell them off and I think she is uh, referred to as an Easterner as well but I think this is completely different from that because obviously like she is from Paradise Island and that is something that is uh it happened in the paradise island not in the like mainland here so <clears throat> like uh i'm mixing those two up so no these two are completely unrelated i think uh i'm sorry if i'm like making any mistake because obviously attack on titan has so much information that a few times i kind of like mix them up and a few things are quite um groggy in my memory like especially in season one when uh what the actual name was said uh they were like a uh, kind of uh like special uh type of uh different type of clan i think i think uh, uh mikasa's mom that she like uh belonged to mm, anyways so, so anyways i think this is completely different from that because obviously that is something that happened in paradise island and this is like in marlia that is happening so yeah uh sorry about that i'm like mixed those two up anyways um okay uh so the, now the question is why was she so <laughs> like um <laughs> so understanding like uh, as far as we can see the marlins uh, each and every one of them are like pretty um i don't know uh does not look at the eldians uh, properly and they like treat them like dirt so this lady seemed pretty reasonable and maybe because of something who knows some kind of reason we'll probably also get to know that later on and uh, all right um what else okay uh nothing else i think and then they start having this festival and everything and um Eren calls for Reiner and I'm not sure why what his actual plan is because if like uh, Reiner will obviously like recognize him and he himself said that how are you Reiner it's been four years or something like that so what does he like uh, what is he trying to accomplish now and <clears throat> Who knows another thing like um 
how many um, i mean how much years does aaron has left now like uh when he was like this is like four years and uh that time when aaron inherited the titan he was quite small so he was quite young and so it, it seems as if like his time is coming to an end almost like aaron is pretty excuse me old now and yeah obviously because i think aaron and reiner kind of inherited the titan at the same age so reiner is like making preparations for like uh, uh giving his titan form to another like uh, all of them are like competing and like uh, uh, like they're like qualifications uh, having tests and everything like who is suitable for inheriting the armor titan so i think reiner's time is almost up that means aaron's time is also almost up isn't it so what is going to happen then like is aaron really going to die like i don't know <sighs> who knows like this show really surprises us for a lot of things so i don't know i really am unable to make any predictions because making predictions in attack on titan is something that <laughs> is pretty tough okay yeah this episode was like nothing much happened no like extraordinary developments only the last bit that was a little bit of an extraordinary development where Aaron met uh, like met reiner and um, yeah that was it um yeah oh and also another thing i wanted to mention was uh so his grandfather uh, i mean Aaron's, he feels sorry for the, his family now let's see uh, what he says here yeah he regrets it he says like he says like there's not a day that i don't regret it that day my son took my daughter outside the walls it's because I was too strict about him becoming a doctor. It's my fault. Everything was my fault. Okay, then he freaks out. Now, here's one question I have. So, if he is really regretting it, why did he turn his son and um, uh, his wife, that is Dinah, to the authorities when Zeke rat like uh, like told about uh, like about them uh, being the Elden reformists to like uh, like snitch them uh, to them like uh, why did he turn them to the authorities then if he is regretting did he re started regretting it after that like deed is that the reason why because obviously the way he's regretting it now if that happened before he like uh, before like uh he handed them over to the authorities he like nothing of like this would have happened like grisha and diana would have been alive i'm guessing and nothing like this would have like this development would wouldn't have happened like this so i'm guessing he started regretting it after he like uh handed them over to the authorities diana died and grisha was like taken to paradise island and they never met again i think after that he started regretting it uh, and if he is regretting it what about the mom like is does she also regret it who knows anyways that's also another thing that i wanted to mention like about his regret and i'm sure like aaron also recognized him because he said his name was jaeger so i'm sure that his aaron also recognized it another thing i am not sure what happened there is like Eren took out a baseball and like put it up like threw it up what was that was that some kind of symbol like symbolism or something who knows like these are like few things that are really question like question mark big question mark on my head anyways I'm sure we'll like understand it as it like as the show gradually goes on okay uh, okay another thing uh, i wanted to like read this this information that they put out uh, information available for the public disclosure tiber family a family of nobles that revolted against eldia in the great titan war 100 years ago they joined hands with the marlin hero helos to overcome the elden empire 
and bring uh, an end to the war. Okay, uh, as nobles who have long possessed the war hammer tight and oh, they also have uh, they have guided Marley for many years and hold significant influence both domestically and abroad. Currently, uh, Willie Tiber is the head of the family. Okay, so all right, so they are like the nobles of like the M Marlins, I think. Okay, just understand. I should probably like read this from like the future episode because a lot of things are like said in these little portions. Okay, guys. Anyways, guys, uh, I'll uh, like end this here. Um, I'm just like like looking if there's something that I missed because obviously missing something in Attack on Titan is something that you will regret later on because you won't be able to understand what happened. I don't think there's anything else I missed in this episode. Okay, guys, uh, I think that's it. That was it. So, yeah, this was episode number four of the final season of Attack on Titan. So, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share about this episode, anything in general. I'll be sure to check them out. But no spoilers. And another thing is that if I'm wrong about anything, uh, if I am mistaken, mistaken about something, uh be sure to correct me down in the comments because obviously this is the attack on titan and i don't think i have <laughs> like uh, like a big brain <laughs> that i would be able to understand each and everything uh, i might like mess up sometimes so if i'm wrong about something uh, feel free to correct me down in the comment section but no spoilers all right guys so yeah uh, that was the end of episode four i'll be seeing you guys uh, next week with another episode of attack on titan so until uh, then, goodbye and have a nice day.